This is Twit. So as we've gone through eight and nine, you know, these many versions of Android, the concept of do not disturb has gone from very simple to just turn off the ringer to very complicated in that you have notification volume, you have um, media volume, you have alarm volumes, you have all the all these sort of settings. And to be honest, going back to the Roku argument, sometimes it gets difficult for a simple uh, a user who prefers things to be a little more simple to figure out how to just turn off notifications on their phone, right? I know we all find it, it's like, oh, you just go here and that blah, blah, blah. But I've seen other users try to figure it out on Android phones and it is a problem. That's why I thought it was interesting to find easy d d which takes the whole concept of do not disturb and makes it dead simple. So if you have uh, parents or loved ones or other users of Android in your world that need a little help with the concept of D&D, easy D&D is the option. Once you install it, you have to give it not- you have to give it access to um, to notifications and all that stuff, you know, the, to go through the standard, which is standard now. But here it's just a one screen app with very large buttons um, that you can go up into it before we go through it, Jason, we can go up in the hamburger mi- menu. There is one option to change the theme to oh. a dark mode. So there you go, Tony, there's your dark mode. Yay. Um, right. Um, but yeah, so the first button, you just turn full D and D on and that just turns complete, you know, everything do not disturb on or off. Um, or you can get granular where you can only turn alarms off. You can only um, you can turn priority on and off where you can you only get messages from uh, your favorite contacts. Um, you can uh, the priority settings is where you can edit those priority stuff and say make it just phone calls only from contacts, only from favorite contacts um, and allow repeat callers. Just like the simplicity of this interface is great. I really like it. Um, if you go back, you can then uh, go to media sounds and turn either media sounds on or off. And messages on or off, touch sounds on or off, and whether or not you want to allow alarms. It just allows you a granular level of control that doesn't need you to go climbing through the se- uh, climbing through the settings uh, or figuring out the sliders or figuring out whether you know you turned off notifications but you left on media and that sort of thing. Um, that's a great function in the upper right hand corner that Jason just hit, that kind of alarm clock with an arrow that basically says automatically turn D and D after the next alarm. So it's the kind of thing where you know you're either expecting something or have an alarm going off, but then you don't want to be disturbed after that. That's a neat, neat little kind of snooze button um, that, that kicks in there. So it's a simple app that just gives you better control over your Do Not Disturb uh, settings. So easy D&D, free in the Google Play Store. Nice. I like it. I use D&D every time we uh, do the show. So yeah. it's a very handy feature and it's nice to have instant access. You can it- see, I turn it off and I get some notifications up there. I turn it on, they go away. I don't know until after the show. That's the way I like yep. it. Nice. Easy DND. Leave me alone. I'm doing the show. Leave <laughs> me alone right now. Don't you know I'm showing? Mom. 